the patient should have some evidence of bleeding diathesis. Like it should be a positive tourniquet test or PTK, ecchymosis or mucosal bleeding which can be major or minor. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dr. Dilip, your internal medicine educator at Preplad and ETSS. And I'm going to discuss about another very, very important pressure from a platform. And this is something that's been asked so many times in our exams. That is a discharge criteria for dengue. In any patient who has recently had a dengue hemorrhagic fever or a dengue shock syndrome, can be discharged from the hospital only when they meet all of the following criteria. What are they? First of all, what do you mean by the term dengue hemorrhagic fever? DHF means the platelet should be less than 1 lakh at least plus the patient should have some evidence of bleeding diathesis. Like it should be a positive tourniquet test or PTK, ecchymosis or mucosal bleeding which can be major or minor. And what do you mean by the term dengue shock syndrome that is DSS? Patient should have features of dengue hemorrhagic fever plus on top of that patient should have evidence of shock as well. And this shock can be clinical in the form of cold and clammy extremities or it can be manifesting hemodynamically as well like low BP and the need for vasopressors and so on. And what are going to the discharge criteria? First patient should be afebrile for at least 24 hours without any antipyretics like parastomol. Patient should have a good appetite, able to eat on their own and a clinically improved condition. Patient should have an adequate urine output. Patient should have a stable hematopoietic level without any fluctuation. And at least 48 hours should have passed since the recovery of shock. And the patient should not have any sort of respiratory distress. And the platelet count should be at least more than 50,000 to 1 lakh. These are the criteria for discharge in a patient who has recently suffered a dengue hemorrhagic fever or a dengue shock syndrome. Thank you. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder.